folks welcome back to this new video so we come up another time with the trade breakdown we'll explain why we take a long position exactly from this low on the gold chart today and why we didn't take a long position from this low right here because many people have found difficulties to locate the fractal today so if we go back to the trading view chart right here we need to understand something very important okay so when i start looking for a fractal on this range right here okay most of the people will start looking for a fractal or geometric structure in this range right here if you pay attention you will see that you don't have any clear geometric structure so in this way you will not force the chart okay you say okay maybe this movement right here and if i invert it in this way uh, it will come right here and i don't know so this is wrong okay and this is not this is not the psychology of the markets this is not the dynamics of the markets or how it works in this case i need to expand the range of the chart okay in this way i will try to study all this wave right here so when i focus okay maybe there is a y model uh, it's very very hard okay especially for someone who don't have any experience it will be very very difficult to locate the y model right here but in reality it exists so but this is not our topic we need the main and the most powerful fractal in this range right here okay so please in this case if you don't see anything clear on the chart if you don't have enough knowledge if you don't have enough experience don't try to force the chart to just cut the wave okay and then try to scale it in a way i don't know how and try to get something okay this is wrong you see all this Okay, when you take this random movement right here and then you scale it in this way, you will have an entry point right here, okay? And then you will have all this strong uptrend, you will get the win, okay, on this trade, you will make much money, but this is not the purpose, okay? It's not a consistent way to approach the financial markets. You need to have a strategy, you need to have a plan every time when you come to the chart. So, let's see now where is the right fractal, okay? Where is the right uh, thing that I should come to it, okay? So right here we have something called the rescaled fractal okay most of people know that always fractal geometry is about taking a small geometric shape and scale it on a bigger one okay and then take a decision to go from here long or to go short okay so it depends on the structure of the fractal right here and also we can have the opposite on the financial markets we can have a range in this way okay and then this range will get rescaled at the end and we have many videos on the youtube video talking about the ls analysis how we use it okay so this is called a rescaled range analysis because we take a big range and we rescale it in a smaller one so right here if we focus on this range what we'll see we'll see that all this range right here was rescaled right here if we take a copy for this small wave, then we try to go back right here to extend it in this way to scale it to see if it can fit or no. So we'll see then what we when we put the low with the low and the high with the high, we'll have right here the low with the low exactly. Okay, so this means that this movement right here, all this range, was rescaled at the end right here. Okay. For the moment i can take any trade i will just wait for the price to develop so when i see that the price go in this way and almost we have 60 percent or 70 percent retracement of this wave we know that later after we have a pullback right here we'll have another 60 70 percent retracement in this way so that's why when we come up to this chart we didn't execute trade at this low right here okay we just wait for the price to develop to see what will happen to the rescaled fractal okay because we should consider this the rescaled fractal as a child wave okay and there is a rule on financial markets that will help everyone uh, so what happens always to the child wave will happen to the mother wave okay let's suppose that we have a mother wave and we have a child wave if the price go and break the high of the child wave this means that the price will go and break the high of the mother wave okay so the same way right here since the price go up 70 percent 
of this child wave right here. This means that the price should go up 7 to 70 percent of the mother wave. But during this, the price will go and break the high of the mother, the child wave. Sorry. So this means that the price will continue going up to break the high of the mother wave right here. Okay. So it's this simple. Okay. Don't complicate things. Don't try to be in a rush to execute trades. Take your time. Try to learn. Let's see another example about this idea so we can focus more on this one in this video. So, if we go for example to Microsoft, let's check the one hour time frame. Uh, this is our reference example on the scaled branch analysis model. So, if we focus on this area right here, we can go to a lower time frame, for example, 30 minutes, so we can have more details. So, in this area right here, we will see that this strong wave, okay, or this range of price right here, was rescaled at the end of the fractal, okay? When we take the mother wave and we'll rescale it in this way, we'll see that this movement was rescaled at the end, okay? And of course, uh, to make things easier, uh, we have an indicator, it's called ERAS Analysis Indicator, that shows you where you can find the range of the rescaled fractal right here using the green line, okay? And I will put in the description a video explaining the whole idea of the rescaled range analysis indicator that you can watch it and also you can get the indicator from our website. So, right here, we have proven that this movement is rescaled from all this range, okay? So, this small movement right here is a CW or child wave and this big movement right here, what is this one? It's a mother wave, okay? Or stands for MW, MW the same thing. So, since the price go right here, and they break this though, this means that 100% the price will go and they break this though. So, it's the same thing, okay? Nothing will change. If we invert the scale, if we delete everything and then we invert the scale, we we'll come back to the same idea or the same trade of the gold right here. We have this wave. Was there scaled right here, okay? So the same thing, nothing will change. The price go up, break this one, we'll wait for pullback and we try to find another confirmation to go long and to target this high and this high. So that's it, all the idea of a scaled range analysis, okay? It's a powerful one. It's one of the most powerful models. Uh, if you want more videos about this one, tell us on the comments and we'll add more videos about this technique. Thank you so much for your time. Have a nice day.